So this is a quick uh, demo on how to set up your assignment for proportionate color. So this is the first assignment in your color inventory project. This assignment, once again, is about graphing the proportional use of color that the designer used in their image. So I've given you a graphic image in your packet, and you're going to look at that image and parse out the proportionate use of each color. So you're going to have to identify how many colors are in play and then their proportionate use. So in this image you might choose the gray that's in this pavement to be maybe 60 some percent of the graph. So the first thing you have to do before you start is to establish how large your graph is so that you know what distances equal what percentages. So let's go ahead and let this start just a little bit. So the first thing you're going to do is draw out the space for your graphic image and determine how large your graph is. And this is going to be different for all of you because you all have different sized graphic images. I'm showing you what to do with a very small um, image. So this was a, like a three inch by four inch graphic image. So I want the graph to match the same height as your graphic image. So mine is small, so my height is small, but my width is long. So since it was only about four inches tall or so, I went with a six and a half inch graph. Now if you have like a six inch image, you can simply go out three inches and then you have the six inches of its height. Does that make sense? So um, the graphic image should match, the graph should match the graphic image's height, but the width is determinant to how large you want your graph to be. And to have enough space to paint, you want at least six inches, either longer than the image or as the height. So once I've started, I've drawn the space for my graphic image, and I've measured out the six and a half inches. Do this on a different piece of paper than you're planning on painting. This is just cheap copy paper to do the math on. That way, once you're ready to paint, you actually have all your measurements determined, you figured out the proportions, and it's all on a different piece of paper that you can reference for your final. So here I am just dealing with the math. So you're going to want to find halves of everything. So the first half you're going to find is half of 6.5 and that'll be 50%. So that percentage will now have a distance associated with it, and it's 3.25, so um, three and a quarter. That way I know that anytime I wanna use about 50%, I know what it equals in, in measurement, in distance. So then we'll, we have 50% left over here, and we half that again, you'll get 25%. And then you'll know what 25% looks like um, in terms of your graph. There's 25%. Then we half the 25% and you get 12.5%. Okay, and then you have 12.5% and you half that 12.5% and you have your next half. And then you have the next half ending around a 1%. Um, and then what you have is you have a couple distances available to determine all of your color usage. And in this, I've shown you a couple ways to do the math. You can literally just divide your number, but you can also just fold the graph. Um, so if you fold end to end, you'll get a perfect half point. So what I also do in this is grab the scale of, I think, the 12.5 in paper, and then I fold it. So I think that occurred back here. Right here. So in this, this is another way that you can find a half point without having to d divide the, the measurement. Just literally take the paper itself or a different piece of paper and cut it to the size that you're trying to half. Fold the paper in half and then cut it and now you have the next distance. So that's, I'm just offering you a couple ways uh, that work, or work very quickly 
to quickly establish your measurements in your graph. Now once you get to the end, this set of measurements is just, for, it's a guide. It is now your personalized ruler for your assignment. So I'm going to take this aside and recreate it on a better piece of paper. And I'm going to decide, for instance, that this gray occupies like 65% with the dark um, blue. I have like a dark blue and dark gray that occupy 65%. So I, I have my 50% and then I'll add the 12. And that's getting me really close to where I want to be. Okay, it's, it's getting me close to 65%. So I take this distance and add it to this distance and I have my gray usage. And then I take that, add those measurements together on my good graph paper and draw the gray proportion. And then I decide what's next. Now a good way to start is to sometimes use these proportions and decide maybe two colors occupy that. So maybe the red and the yellow, maybe you feel like that occupies 25%. And then within this 25%, you can decide maybe there's more red than yellow. And you guess on that proportion. This is a guessing game. You're just trying to get close to the proportional use. And these measurements are just a guide. So whenever we take this to the other image, I'm just using this as my guide for deciding proportions of my graph. Okay, hope that was helpful.